I think it's pretty safe to say that we've all been there at one point or another where we're putting together a look and there's just something that feels off about it. It doesn't look chic and put together. It looks frumpy and dowdy and cheap for lack of better word. Through my own personal style journey, I have experienced this time and time and again, which is why I wanted to put together this video of reasons why your outfit may look cheap. And these are easy fix that anyone can do to make your outfit look so much better. So without further ado, let's just hop right into the video. The first mistake that I have personally made many, many times before, and I realized that it almost always makes my outfit look worse or makes it look cheap, and that is over styling my jewelry. You guys know how much I love my gold cool jewelry. I love to layer and stack it, especially on my ears, on my fingers and let's be real I like to stack all kinds of jewelry whether it be rings earrings bracelets or necklaces but from personal experience I found that having a more thoughtful and minimalistic approach always looks so much better than overdoing it I wanted to share with you today some special pieces that I recently received from Ana Luisa, a brand that I love and wear on a daily basis. And I've been working with them for the last couple of years. And I kid you not, majority of my jewelry collection is Ana Luisa at this point because it is so easy to style these pieces because they are unique yet minimalistic at the same time. So it's really easy to wear them on their own or layer them or stack them with other pieces from the line. All their pieces are made from high quality recycled materials. They are made to last and they are made to be mixed and matched with other pieces from their collection. Just as an example, all of the earrings that I'm wearing on this ear today are from Ana Luisa. They're all different and unique in their own way, but yet they're still minimalistic enough that I can stack them and it doesn't look overdone. It doesn't take away attention from the rest of my outfit. When you are layering or stacking your jewelry, you want to create balance. So because I have several different kinds of earrings on my ear and I have a more bold hoop, I had a more minimalistic approach around my neckline, especially because I am wearing a sweater today that already has some embellishment on the shoulders. I stayed away from anything around my neck because that would just distract and take attention away from my sweater and it would just have too much going on around this area. So by keeping the, my neckline clean from jewelry and just having the focus be on my sweater and on my earrings, it has a more chic and polished look to it and therefore looks more expensive. Whereas if I were to stack on a ton of necklaces around my neck, I also decided to go with a more minimal approach on my hands. So I have these beautiful stacking rings. These are all also from Ana Luisa. They're all different sizes and slightly different shapes. So you have this really dainty minimalistic ring on my thumb. This one is a little bit more of a dome shape and this is more of a flat shape. But as you can see, when I have them stacked on my fingers like this, they just go together and it just looks very clean and polished. The last piece I wanted to share with you is probably one of my favorite pieces that I recently got from Ana Luisa. And it is this stunning bracelet that actually looks like a luxurious band from a watch. It's a link bracelet that has a very edgy and kind of masculine feel to it. But when you pair it with super minimal rings like this, it just completes the entire look and still looks super beautiful. Everything that Ana Luisa does is super sustainable from their packaging to their production and everything in between. Ana Luisa is currently also running their biggest sale of the year where when you buy one, you get the second one 60% off. So I recommend that you run because their pieces sell out super, super fast. I'll leave all of the info on the screen here and also in my description box. I know you will love them. The next reason why your outfit probably looks cheap is because you are wearing dirty shoes. Now I know this is probably a no brainer, but you would be surprised how big of a difference it makes when your shoes are looking clean and new and fresh. This is especially true with white sneakers. I find that if I have a few scuff marks on my sneakers, it always makes my outfit look 
look a little more run down and less put together. And actually I get asked all the time about what I do to keep my sneakers looking so white and clean and fresh. And my personal secret is Mr. Clean Magic Erasers. Mr. Clean Magic Erasers are actually made from a natural resource called melamine. It's a type of foam that it acts as a natural sponge and cleaner. And all you need to do is add a little bit of water to it. And I kid you not, it removes pretty much every scuff mark or dirt mark under the sun. It's super easy to use and it's super inexpensive. You can get regular melamine foam on Amazon for super, super cheap. And it's an easy and efficient way to keep your sneakers and all kinds of shoes looking really clean and like they're brand new. So this next mistake that I see quite often and unfortunately makes your outfit look really cheap is wearing leggings that are see-through. I love my leggings. I cannot live without my leggings. I probably wear them a few times a week and there are so many different ways that I love to wear leggings. I like to wear them to work out. I like to wear them around the house. I wear them to run errands. Long story short, leggings are a huge part of my life and I have made the mistake in the past of purchasing leggings that weren't opaque enough, that wouldn't become see-through if I, for example, bent over to get something off of the ground. Unfortunately, a lot of leggings are not made out of the best quality materials and they're not made to last. And because it's something that I wear so much and it's a staple in my everyday wardrobe, for me, it makes sense to invest a little bit more money in getting premium quality leggings that will not only last a long time, but also are not see-through, that will stand the test of time, that I can wash and rewear again and again and again. I personally love Spanx leggings. I have had the same pair of Spanx leggings for three or four years already. I got them at the beginning of my pregnancy and I've continued to wear them postpartum and even now I swear by them. They are made out of like the most buttery, stretchiest yet supportive material that is completely opaque and you can dress them down with sneakers and a t-shirt and you can also dress them up with a blazer and boots. That's why I love them so much and I cannot recommend them enough. So if you are looking for premium quality leggings that are going to stand the test of time and will not be see-through and make your outfit look less polished and put together, I cannot recommend these leggings enough. So I am a denim girl. I love my denim all time through all the seasons of the year. I have all kinds of washes, all kinds of styles. And I noticed through experience that the denim that tends to bring your outfit down and make it look cheaper is the denim that has whiskering going along the tops of the thighs. And if you haven't heard of whiskering, basically it's a crease in the dye around the tops of your thighs. I'll show a few pictures on the screen here so you can see what I'm talking about. And I noticed that usually premium denim or like high quality denim doesn't have whiskering on it. It's also really not flattering on most people because it creates the optical illusion of wider hips. So if you're a huge denim fan like I am and you wanna prevent your outfit from looking less expensive, definitely try to avoid any kind of denim that has whiskering on it. So as you guys know, I like to keep my clothes looking its best. Over the years, I really, really have figured out a process on how to increase the longevity of my pieces. So I'm not only focusing on buying premium quality pieces made out of really good materials, sturdy fabrics that I will be able to keep and wear again and again, but I've also figured a way how to preserve my pieces and make them look like they are brand new. One of the tools in my wardrobe arsenal that I can no longer live without and it has honestly saved so many of my knits and has made my clothes look so much more expensive is my debobbler. I use the Sloan debobbler, I swear by it. You can also find a debobbler on Amazon and so many other places. It has literally changed the game for me when it comes to keeping my knits looking so much more expensive and it's a tool that I can no longer live without. Another tool in my wardrobe that I can no longer live without
about is my steamer. I also use a Sloan steamer and I swear by it. Again, you can also find a steamer on Amazon or many other places, but it prevents your clothes from looking wrinkled and dowdy. Wrinkled clothing tends to also make your outfit look cheaper and not as put together if you were to have crisp, clean clothes without any wrinkles. I totally understand that there are a lot of natural fabrics out there. For example, linen, where it's just the nature of linen to crease and wrinkle. And even though I love my linen and will never give it up, I always make sure to steam it before wearing it to make sure that it's always looking its best. Another reason why your outfit may be looking cheap is that you are wearing clothing that doesn't fit your body right. And a good example of that is a button down shirt that is gaping in between the buttons. Anytime you go shopping, whether it be in store or online, always make sure that you try the pieces on properly. Every retailer has different sizing. So just because you might be a size four with one brand, you might be a completely different size with another brand. And sizing also varies within a brand itself. You could be a size small in one garment and a size medium with another garment, even if it's made by the same brand. So always, always, always make sure that you try everything on, really evaluate each garment and ignore the sizing on the actual piece. Just focus on how that piece fits your frame. Another reason why your outfit may be looking cheap is because you are exposing too much skin. When I'm getting dressed, I always like to think about balance again. For example, if I am wearing a short skirt or a short dress and exposing a lot of skin on my legs, I will balance it out with something more modest on top. So I'll throw on an oversized blazer or a sweater and vice versa. If I am showing my collarbone or my arms are exposed, I will try to keep my bottom half of my body as covered as much as possible. Now, of course, there's an exception of super, super hot days, but you always want to keep modesty in mind. Exposing too much skin at once is an easy way to ruin any outfit and make it look a lot more cheap than it actually is. Synthetic fabrics are another quick way to make your outfit look a lot cheaper. The way that most synthetic fabrics are made don't usually conform to the body in the best way. It doesn't create the most flattering shape for most people. Now there are of course exceptions to the rule, but for the most part, I found that synthetic fabrics just don't look as good as natural fabrics do, such as linen and wool and cotton do. A really good example of a synthetic fabric that usually does not look very expensive is polyester. Polyester is a type of plastic actually that a lot of inexpensive retailers use to match mass produce clothing. And it's a fabric that I try to avoid as best as possible, not just because it usually looks cheap, but because it's not as good for the environment. It's not as good for the longevity of my pieces in my wardrobe. And when I am making a decision as a consumer about the things that I want to bring into my life, I want to make sure that it's something that I can enjoy and appreciate appreciate for a very long time. Another thing that I look for when I am adding things into my wardrobe, and this could apply to anything, whether it be a shirt, a dress, a pair of pants, or a bag even, is to make sure that that item is not overly baggy. Anything overly baggy that lacks any kind of structure is going to look a lot more shapeless and not put together. And again, I'm gonna go back to the whole idea of balance. You want to create balance in your look. I love my baggy clothing, but I also want them to have some shape and some structure to them to create a flattering silhouette. So that silhouette does look like I 
like put some thought into it and not just slap together some random baggy pieces in my wardrobe. So if you're going to go with something that's baggy, for example, a pair of baggy trousers, you want them still to be cinched in at the waist and sit properly on the hips and have a flattering shape and silhouette to them so that your body doesn't get lost in all of that fabric. Another thing you wanna be careful of when you are putting an outfit together is to avoid pieces that have too many holes or rips or tears in them. I love a jean that has a little bit of fraying at the edges or has a little bit of distressing to them. I think that it lends an outfit a more effortless and lazy back kind of look as long as it's not overdone. Sometimes when it's overdone and you are wearing a t-shirt with a ton of holes in it plus a pair of baggy jeans with rips and fraying all over it, it can start to look really cheap. So you want to be careful of that. Again, I'm going to reiterate the word balance, 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 because when it comes to dressing yourself and styling your outfits, balance is key. And the same balance rule goes to wearing trends. You want to avoid wearing too many trends all at once because that's another easy way to make your outfit look super cheap. When I'm putting an outfit together, I stick to pieces that are classic and timeless and I'll throw in one or two trends into the outfit to make it more relevant. I do my best to avoid wearing more than two trends at once because like I mentioned, too many trends is just too distracting. And and instead of making an outfit look classic and timeless, it creates a very confusing and cheap looking outfit. All right, you guys, so that wraps up today's video. I really hope that you found this video helpful. I quickly wanted to remind you about Ana Luisa's huge sale that's happening on their site right now where you buy one and get the second 60% off. Again, I will leave all of that information on the screen here as well as in my description box down below. As always, I wanna thank you so much for watching and hanging out with me and I will see you in my next one. Oh, 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 oh,